Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my Code to Care video series where we talk about AI in healthcare. I'm joined by my special guest uh, today, Jay Nakashima. Jay is president of eHealth Exchange, one of our nation's uh, uh, national interoperability networks. Welcome, Jay. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, sure thing. Sure thing. Um, so today I wanted to talk with Jay about uh, electronic prior authorizations. Now, the prior authorization process, you probably all experience as patient as patients at a minimum, which is the challenge of a provider wanting a service approved, needing to get prior authorization from your payer um, and having a level of, you know, very clunky, cumbersome back and forth of faxes, asking for more information, you know, just just a lot of back and forth that between these two organizations, the patients in the middle or the patient's family trying to arrange the care. And we have legislation that is basically mandating an electronic version of this process in the coming years to really streamline uh, this. So maybe you could talk a little bit more about that and what your organization is doing to try and help with this. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, most provider offices, believe it or not, have to deal with around 30 different insurance companies. And, and, you know, each of these insurance companies probably has a different web portal or a different fax number, different prior auth requirements. And it's really tough, as you can imagine, for the providers to keep track of this. Um, and so they have portalitis. Uh -huh. If we're tired of going out to 30 different websites, logging in and saying, hey, I want to do... I don't know, a laminectomy, a spine procedure on patient J. Mm -hmm. Are you going to pay for it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so um, so that's the problem. Okay. And so we are, we've introduced a fire solution or a technology solution that uses um, fire APIs to help streamline the process. As far as I understand, it looks something like this. So you're a provider. You're in your EMR, yep. let's say, um, and you basically want to interact with the payer. Like, I want to order this procedure or that, that sort of thing. And kind of within your EMR context, there's a Fire app, basically, yeah. an application that through you, in a sense, communicates with the payers on the back end to basically allow this user in the provider office to interact with that payer to ask for authorization, check status of authorization, that kind of thing? Exactly. Okay, okay. And then um, and then I understand there's a few different fire apps. Like, do you have one and then the payers have one? Or maybe you could explain yeah, how that whole thing works. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of the beauty of what we're simplifying. And we're doing this via the InterSystems um, uh, tech platform. Um, but what really happens here is we ask each of these providers to trust the eHealth Exchange Smart on Fire app. So it creates kind of a new window or a new tab in their EMR. Okay. Yes. And then within that EMR, when they click on that eHealth Exchange app, mm -hmm. they're able to say, hey, this patient has Blue Cross or this patient has Aetna or Cigna or CMS or mm -hmm. you know, Medicare. And they're able to, therefore, get to that insurance company and uh, see if there's a, an, a prior authorization really required and then start to answer the, um, the prior authorization questions. Okay. So in the app, there'll be, there'll be follow-up questions maybe that the payer has about what exactly they're recommending or what the patient history might be. Yeah. So, so there might be a level of, um, you know, questionnaire or yeah, and it um, gets pretty workflow. fancy. The, yeah. app, the the app the app that they load actually suggests or preloads. So if one of the questions for hey a spine procedure for patient J is was there an MRI and did mm -hmm. it show spinal mm -hmm. stenosis, it will pull that from the provider's EMR. Ah, excellent. And then give the provider the control to say yes, pull it. Yep. Check it. Or, yep. Or don't or uncheck it. Okay. Don't pull it. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, so provider doesn't need to worry about the connection with each of their payers. They uh, make a trusted connection with you, right? Uh, they integrate your Fire app into their EMR workflow, and then you take care of the rest. 
Correct. Essentially. I mean, using our technology, we had a, yeah. a role in it. We helped you out. But, yeah. but essentially, eHealth Exchange kind of platform will take care of the rest in terms of um, connecting with the payers, getting the information that they want in front of the provider, that kind of that kind of thing. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. And we use, we use the HL7 DaVinci standards. And, you know, it's still earlier days. Yeah. We're super optimistic about this streamlining workflow for pro payers and providers. Great. Great. Well, this sounds huge and yeah. really useful and something that touches the patient. Like you think of interoperability as like a lot of back-end exchanges and the patient doesn't know anything. Uh, about it, but uh, we all, I think, struggled with authorization challenges right. as patients, and and working on streamlining that that model is incredibly useful. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Good. Thank yeah. you, Jay. Thank you. Uh, thanks, everyone. Hope that was interesting. And until next time, bye.